Hi, my name is Stefan Rendwitz and I'm a professor at Munich University of Applied Sciences in Germany. I want to talk uh, today about WebAssembly and its usage in embedded systems to build managed VMs around WebAssembly for scalable secure IoT deployments. I found that WebAssembly is used beyond browsers nowadays and I want to outline a little bit um, some projects that we are currently starting. So what is WebAssembly? WebAssembly is an open standard for platform independent bytecode. And as many of you probably know, it's originally been developed in the context of browsers to interface JavaScript and to make more performant um, web applications. But what you can do is you can compile any LLVM supported language to Python, like this is short for WebAssembly. And there's interpreters ahead of time compilation, just in time compilation, all the stuff that you could do with the standard managed VMs. Um, comparable to Java, for example. But what I found nowadays is that you also um, have WebAssembly targeting systems beyond the browser uh, on the side of desktop and, and server deployments. Um, the WebAssembly system interface could, for example, be of interest. And so you can see there's clearly a trajectory of WebAssembly outside of browsers. Why would WebAssembly be interesting for, web, uh, for embedded systems? Is that it has very strong isolation properties, which is a um, strong benefit of managed VMs. Um, and what you get also by it is some improved portability and you could decouple the languages that you're using, the frameworks, the runtimes and the hardware, and you don't have an end to M, et cetera, relation. So this is interesting to us. And I started looking into what kind of web assembly runtimes we have and how portable they are and to um, elaborate on some demonstrators so that we know where this could be heading. Um, so of course you have the standard browser runtimes. I don't want to talk about them, but there's also standalone runtimes which get more and more popular and get used in many projects nowadays. So there's Vasma, for example, which is implemented in Rust, which we um, have a deep look into at the moment. Um, and there's many others, um, for example, the Vasm micro runtime or Vasm 3 which are more tiny uh, and written in C and C++. So what do we want to gain with the projects that we are currently running is um, the question, how could we build scalable WebAssembly deployments using many applets, spanning multiple devices um, from server edge down to the device and maybe some root of trust in embedded system deployments, um, modern IoT systems. So what we need, and this is not covered by WebAssembly itself, is the lifecycle of applets and the management of applets, even from a remote side. We need authenticated communication so that we actually have some attestation around the underlying system that we are working on. And we need some frameworks in the form of APIs, like Arduino style programming. We want complex frameworks like the global platform, such things like trusted execution environments, etc., maybe CPM. Those kind of things is something we're looking in our research nowadays. So we have started some projects and I just want to quickly go through them and see, I want to describe the potential that we have here. The one is the Open Titan platform, which is an open source um, um, root of trust silicon device that um, is driven by Google. There's TocOS, which um, is planned to be running on top of it, which is a Rust based operating system. And we are currently working on integrating Vasma and TocOS onto OpenTitan to run WebAssembly in a secure way uh, on a root of trust element. You could combine it with another project we have with an ESP, like the Espresso devices, um, 32 bit um, running the Sapphire real time operating system, and for example, run an applet inside a um, Vasm3 container um, inside of Sapphire. Another system that we are working on is Raspberry Pi with Linux and Vasm time, which is pretty much out of the box. What we are in particular looking into is the question, how do we do cross-platform integration? How do we have, how can we establish um, WebAssembly multi-applet deployments which span all of those devices? And how do we want to integrate them inside a large deployment, um, spanning different levels um, of devices? And um, one thing we are particularly looking at is uh, authentication, uh, authenticated communication with Spiffer. So it just started recently. You can stay tuned. You can find it on GitHub. Um, there's a brief description of the project we are running. Please get in touch if you're interested. I'm looking forward to more and exciting topic. Bye.